Hello guys, my name is Deep Chiring Lecture. In the previous video, we learned about how to install Cisco ACS and VMware Workstation environment. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up or how to do initial configuration of Cisco ACS 5.8. Let's begin. Click on VMware Workstation. There you can see ACS ACS1. In the previous video, we installed ACS ACS-11, right? I have deleted it for some reason, so I'm going to set up an ACS ACS-1. So just select and click on power on this virtual machine. There it starts up. Just bear with me. There you can see the system is booting up. Here we are on the setup page. So we don't have any username or any user credentials. So what we are going to do is, there you can see that please type setup to configure the appliance. So I'm just going to uh, click on the virtual machine and just type in setup and hit enter. There you can see that uh, it's saying that type in the host name for this ACS machine. So I'm going to type the name as ACS1. There for IP address, assign an IP address for this ACS. I'm going to assign an IP address as 192.168.1.100. This IP address is based on class C and subnet mask would be slash 24. That means 255.255.255.0. Enter IP default gateway. So my Default gateway router IP address would be 192.168.1.1 in my virtual environment. So just hit enter and enter default DNS domain. So what would be the domain? I'm going to just type in the 8888 address. Domain default DNS. Okay, domain name would be like cisco.com. Primary server. It will be like 8.8.8.8. .8 Add name server. Okay. I don't want to uh, add secondary server, so just hit enter to skip. Enter NTP server. I don't have any NTP server network time protocol, so just hit enter to skip. These are the pop ups, so I'm gonna click on remind me later. And uh, another NTP server, just hit enter to skip. Time zone, I don't want to set up the time zone, just hit enter to skip. Enable SSH services, so you have to turn on the SSH services to remotely configure this device. So I'm going to say yes and uh, enter username. Our username would be, I'm going to let it be as the default, such as admin and uh, hit enter enter password uh, that would be like p capital p a 44 w0 rd and capital p a 44 w0 rd all right it's been confirmed bringing up the network interface so just wait for a while until it completes the installation or setting up these configuration okay it's trying to ping with the gateway and as we know that uh, we don't have any gateway set yet so it's not going to ping and it's going to show an error that see like that gateway ping failed so retry I don't want to retry because there is no gateway so just hit okay just press enter after typing n no i don't want to ping with the default gateway because i don't have any default gateway right virtual machine detected configuring vmware tools so again bear with me now it's going to uh, show the ntp error network time protocol error let's see Okay, that, there you can see the uh, error is sin with NTP server failed. Incorrect time could render the system unusable. Okay, uh, this is uh, this is the error because um, I actually 
did not define the NTP server, right? And I don't have any NTP server connected to this device. So it's uh, okay to uh, just skip this step. So it's asking for the retry. So I'm going to type N and just hit enter. And over here, you can see that do not use control C from this point. If you do control C, that means it's going to uh, maybe it's just not going to install or will have some error. So just uh, be patient and just bear with me. And after installation, we're going to verify that uh, it has been assigned with the username and password. It has been assigned with the IP address. It has been assigned with the default gateway and all. Just bear with me. Application bundle, ACS installed successfully. Okay, it's rebooting now. The system, it's going to reboot on its own. Okay, just bear with me. After rebooting, it's going to ask for the username and password. There, our operating system is getting started. There goes for the login page. So it's asking for the username. I'm going to type my username. It's admin and hit enter. It's going to ask password. So capital P A 44 W0 RD. I've just typed it. Hitting enter. It opens up the console login. It's saying incorrect. Let me try again. Admin capital P A 44 W0 RD. Okay, it's logged in right now. So what we're going to do is there is a command to verify whether the IP address has been assigned successfully or not. And that's like show interface, enter. There you can see the IP address has been assigned over here. And uh, my IP address is 192.68.1.100 as assigned, our default, uh, default gateway. Okay, broadcast address is this one. And this is my subnet mask over there. It's my loopback, so not to worry about the loopback. So this is uh, my assigned IP address. Now, one more thing, uh, we have to verify whether uh, whether the application status is turned on or not. For that, show application status ACS. See, uh, for now, it's uh, saying that application initialization status is not yet available please check again in a minute so after a couple of minutes it's going to uh, show us the running services at the background you can uh, actually work with the environment such as uh, heading from your client to this acs remotely with https or some kind of sort like that uh, so we're going to wait and let's see whether it's done or not show application status ACS there you can see the applications are running at the background it's changed over here so everything has to be in running status so this is how uh, actually you do the initial configuration in ACS 5.8 that's how we have done over here in the next video, we're going to do the AAA authentication with the router and how to actually access this device and how to configure this 5.8 with GUI environment like graphical user interface. So this is how the initial configuration is done. Thanks for watching guys.